I'm Steve for This Up With Cars and today I'm back with my Datsun 280Z. My normal gas tank restoration shop has closed down so I decided to give my radiator shop a chance and I think they did a pretty good job. On the bottom of the tank is a sediment trap and that was completely clogged up no matter how much they soaked this they couldn't get that unclogged. So they ended up cutting the fuel tank open, removing that sediment trap, putting both of the pickups down to the bottom of the tank so that I can use either one. Welded everything back together, coated it inside and on the outside, and I think it turned out great. It wasn't much fun taking this out. I hope putting it back in is a little bit better. I need to install the new fuel sender. I also have a new O-ring right here. There is a little notch right here that lines up with a tab on the fuel tank so that you get this clocked correctly. And then a locking ring holds it in. I'm using a board to hold the tank up here. I'm going to try to get the hoses that are located on top hooked up first, then I can start to hang the tank. I have the little ones on, and I think I'll try to push that one on as I put the tank up. Also note that I have the wiring for the sender pushed up into that hole where I will hook it up after the tank is mounted. The most difficult hose will be the fuel inlet hose. There's virtually no access to pushing this on. So I'll have to bring the tank up as close as I can and still being able to reach up there and get that hose onto the tank. I think I have it maneuvered on enough for now. The straps are two different lengths and the shorter one goes on the left hand side of the car, the longer one on the right hand side. The straps fit up into these diamond shaped holes and then quarter turn them into place. The special bolts that hold the straps on are old and rusty, so I'm going to take these to the wire wheel. The bolts for the hangers are also two different sizes and these just clip up into these holes here. Now these upper nuts can be spun down into place to lock everything to keep it from unscrewing. Now from up here, I can connect the fuel sender and reinstall the cover. Let's put some fuel in and see if it leaks out right away. I don't see any leaks so far. If the fuel tank is working, when I crank the engine, we should see this fuel filter fill up with fuel. Looks like it's working. I'm going to add some more fuel, then we can take it for a test. Looks like my fuel gauge might work, slowly coming up.
still doesn't have any brakes. It feels like the piston and the master cylinder is stuck in. Still looks okay. I don't see anything leaking. There is no fuel leak, but there is an oil leak. It looks like it's coming from the oil sender on the side of the block. So I'll try to tighten that up. Hopefully that stops the leak. This was a bit loose. So I think this is going to help. When I get to using this car in competition, whether it's autocross, rallycross, whatever I'm doing with this car, they're not going to allow me to use these original wheels. This is actually a steel wheel with a wheel cover over it. And in order to run these wheels, I would have to leave the wheel cover off. So for now, I think I'm going to mount up the rest of the Western turbines. I mounted one of these on the car in the original video because one of the tires that I got from Kevin didn't hold any air. I think it's time to replace the rest of these with the turbines. These aluminum wheels use a different type of lug nut as well. The wheel actually sits on top of the shoulder. And it's a real pain to put these things on. That's all that I have time for today on my Datsun 280Z with the transplanted 240Z engine. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.